A is a vector of 8 kilonewtons lying at theta degrees to the right of the positive y-axis. B is a 6 kilonewton load at 40 degrees to the right of the negative y-axis. R is the resultant of A and B. We want to find theta so that R lies along the positive x-axis using the law of cosines and or, and or the law of sines. The most important thing here to do is to draw the picture of your triangle. What are you looking for? So I'm going to take the vector A. A is 8 kilonewtons. And I'm going to add it head to tail with the vector B, where B is 6 kilonewtons, so that this resultant R is from head to tail A plus B. And I want that to be straight horizontal. Now we can label some of these parts of the triangle to the her Vertical, that's a theta, theta degrees. That's given in the problem. So if we draw this vertical in, this is also theta degrees. B is at 40 degrees to the vertical, so this is 40. Now, if you look at just this triangle that we've got right here, this angle up here is going to be theta plus 40. You know that this one is going to be 90 minus theta. And if you look at that, the sum of those three angles has to be equal to 180 because it's a triangle. That means that this angle has to be 50 degrees. The nice thing about knowing that this angle is 50 degrees is that you don't actually have to use the law of cosines. The law of cosines tells you that the resultant magnitude is going to be a squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 8 times 6 times the cosine of the angle between them, which would be, in this case, theta plus 40. And that looks like it's going to be a challenging thing to use, but we don't need it. You already know three of the angles and two of the sides. You don't need to use this. Instead, let's use the law of sine. The law of sine lets us say that any side and the sine of its angle, that ratio is going to be the same. So we can say the sine of 50 over the the length opposite it, which would be A, or 8 kilonewtons, is going to be equal to the sine of theta plus 40 over R, and that's also going to be equal to the sine of the third angle, 90 minus theta over 6. The nice thing about sine of 90 minus theta is that sine of 90 minus theta is the same thing as cosine. Remember that from your trig graphing, that with the periodicity of sine and cosine, that is always true. So if we look at this and that, sine of 50 over 8 and 6 equals cosine theta. And you can find, take that theta is 54.9 degrees. So all you needed to do was draw this triangle right here, label the angles, and plug it into the law of sines to get your answer.